Welcome back guys to another video on the Silver Studios channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what vehicles you should buy with your first $1 million in jailbreak. If you guys go on to like the video, please like and subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. In ninth and last place, we have the Sloop. The Sloop is a $1 million pirate ship and it is very bad. Do not spend your money on this. It is very bad. You will regret it instantly. It is super slow. I mean super slow, like slower than Camaro. The Camaro is free. This is $1 million and slower than the Camaro. Also, it is a water vehicle, so that makes it very limited. It is not good for practical use. Nobody ever uses this unless they're roleplaying as pirates. So if unless you want to roleplay as pirates, do not buy this vehicle. You can't even customize it. Very slow, very bad. Do not buy this for $1 million. That is coming into last place. But at number 8, it is going to be the monster truck. Now, the monster truck, I don't think, should be a $1 million vehicle. It used to be the first $1 million and only $1 million vehicle back in the day in OG Jailbreak, and this was because it held more than six people, and it had huge tires that made it very good for going above dunes and above cars. But now it's just obsolete. It might have been good back in the day, but now other things just make it not very good, like the Cybertruck can hold way more people for only 75000 and so can the Sentinel. So that just makes the Monster Truck a very bad vehicle. It is uh, not very fast for a $1 million vehicle either, and it's just obsolete now. Other things have just made this uh, vehicle useless. Coming in 7th place, we have the tank. Now, the tank is not a very good $1 million vehicle. It is also slower than the Camaro, so that is already not very good. And you have to buy missiles that you shoot at people. The missiles do do a lot of damage, but you also have to buy the missiles yourself. They're not free. And honestly... It is pretty much a meme car. Like, you're not going to use this if you're trying to grind or anything. You're only using this to troll or if you just want to roleplay. So, for a price of $1 million, it is not very good. It's very cool, but it's not very useful in trying to get more cash or trying to, you know, outrun cops. It is very slow. Or, you know, as a cop trying to uh, chase criminals, even in a rug car, they're going to go faster than you. So, yeah. Do not buy this with your first $1 million. I would recommend getting it later on as it is a pretty cool vehicle, but do not get this with your first $1 million. Now, coming in at 6th place, we have the fighter jet. Now, I own the fighter jet, and I use it sometimes, but it is pretty hard to get to sometimes. It spawns at the airports, which are remote areas uh, throughout the map, so they're not like in the center of the map. You have to go out of far ways if you want to get one. And then also, once you do get one... It goes very, very fast, like, uh, it goes roadster fast, and it can fly, so it is a very good vehicle for getting around places if you need to go fast, but the problem comes in is where landing it. It is pretty hard to land, in my opinion. You can land it, but it is pretty hard to control and land correctly, and pretty much once you land, your plane's just gonna be gone. It's just gonna be, like, down the street, or it's just gonna be flung on a building, so pretty much every time you land it, if you don't do a good job, like <laughs> I don't do a good job, you're going to have to go back to the airport and get a brand new one. But other than that, if you land it good, then you'll be fine. Also, if you're playing mobile, do not buy this vehicle. It is super hard to control on mobile. But if you have a PC, I would recommend getting this vehicle later on, but do not use your first $1 million on this vehicle. Now coming in at fifth place, we have the Trailblazer. The Trailblazer is pretty much a modified version of the Doom Buggy. It goes pretty fast. It can see a pretty decent amount of people and ultimately there's really nothing more to say about it it's a very good car it can go over bumps very well but when you're going on a road it kind of bounces sometimes but if you're not if you're going off-road it is very well but if you're going on the road it bumps a little bit so that's what i have to say about the trailblazer that's why it's getting sixth place nothing really much to say about it so coming in at fourth place we have the two million five hundred dollar vehicle which is the concept now i'm ranking this pretty high because at first, I didn't really think it was good. It's pretty expensive, but it is pretty cool. It has some special effects that no other car has. It can seat four people, which is really rare for fast vehicles. And it goes pretty fast, too. So if you do have $2,500,000 to use on this vehicle, I would say go ahead and use it. But do not use this with your first $1 million or with your first $2 million at all. Yeah, I would not recommend getting this with your first $1 million or $2 million. So coming up in third place, we have... The drone vehicle. Now, the drone vehicle is pretty good. It isn't like a helicopter. It's small, but it can hover, so it's good for getting away from police. It is pretty fast also and can fly around the streets of the city pretty easily, more easily than uh, any helicopter because the blades don't hit anything. But the only problem with this vehicle is that it doesn't go as high as helicopters, and you can't rob the... Um, 
cargo boat with it because it ha does not have a rope, so it is unable to rob the cargo boat. That's why it is getting third place, and at second place, I'm going to put the Volt Bike. Now, I'm putting the Volt Bike here because I think the next vehicle on the list is slightly better than the Volt Bike, but this Volt Bike is pretty good. This Volt Bike is very cool. It goes pretty fast, and it's not as bouncy as the old Volt Bike, so it can turn corners in the city sharp fast, and it can get away from police very fast. Really good for robbing the power plant. It is a very good vehicle. I would say get this vehicle second after the next vehicle on the list, so I would recommend getting the Volt Bike second with your second $1 million vehicle because I think this vehicle is much better than a Volt Bike. At number one, it is going to be the military helicopter. I think the military helicopter is so good. It can seat so many people and do so many things. It has a very good and very decent speed of uh, 120 up to like 130, I believe. It can rob the cargo boat. It can do all that good stuff. It can hold up to a whopping eight people. That is amazing. It just makes getting around the map very good. It has very easy controls. And that's why I'm putting the military helicopter at first place, which is the vehicle that you should buy with your first $1 million. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I know I stuttered and messed up a little bit in the video, but uh, I was just losing my train of thought. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.